terrible. I hate this. So here is a good view of the headers on the engine. And of course you see this one does that funky little turn around there, but I think that's because they wanted a uh, either a different look or they wanted it to uh, have like a same length runner as the one in the front. Sometimes I do that. Um, and as you can see on this side, I have the bolts that came with it. Um, could not get the one in back there. I ended up stripping it, which is going to be fun. I talked about that in the last video. Um, you are going to want to put those uh, heat uh, shields here. I use the, they comes with like these stupid wires to uh, twist on there. Don't get those, get these uh, metal zip ties. Those things have worked a whole lot better. Um, and they were not nearly as much of a pain to put on there. I'll show you the other side. The other side's more of a uh, pain to look. So. As you can see, this side has the studs. Because uh, back there in the back, I don't know if you can see them. I don't know where the lens is on this camera. There. Oh, maybe. Hold on. Sorry, I'm having to film this from a very strange angle. But these bolts are not, like, you're not going to get in there with the bolts that they gave you. You're going to have to do this. And it's going to take some finesse when you finally get it in there. The funny thing is, the bolts in the back of there with the flange were actually the easiest part of this entire thing. Um, you're going to want to put that um, exhaust gasket sealant on the uh, flange or else you're going to have an exhaust leak and you're going to have this horrible puffing sound and I hate it when that happens. So, um, But you know the, the funny thing is the finish actually looks pretty good and it's been on there for about, um, about a year and a half now. So um, looks great. Um, they sound amazing. Uh, I've got the... Um, Flowmaster uh, American Thunder on there, and it's a uh, two uh, like the kit is a three inch pipe, um, as you can see there, Gibson and uh, yeah, you focus there, Gibson and Flowmaster. Uh, but yeah, then uh, let's see if we can get this started for you so you can hear what they sound like. Again, this is a 4.7 liter, so you're not going to get too crazy of a deep sound, but it doesn't sound too bad. It's got a nice little low rumble to it. it sounds good at idle, which is what I wanted. And that horrible whining here is not the power steering pump, it's the alternator, so that's going to be the next thing to go. And uh, this really doesn't do much for your horsepower, but man, it makes this thing a whole lot louder in the cab. So, um, if you like loud things like I do, I'd get it, but if you're looking for horsepower gains, really not a whole lot, it's just a nice straight tube and um, a little um, heads up on this AAM series is this little thing here was nowhere near long enough. I ended up having to flip the, uh, the vent over here to the other side. And um, you're not supposed to do that. So I went ahead and put this on there as a PVC hose and uh, flipped it back around. So um, Yeah guys, I hope you appreciate the way it sounds. Anyways, you guys, uh, have a good one, and I'll see you the next time.